variance is introduced with uh, some degree of um, deliberation. It's not that GPT-3 is by itself indeterministic. It is a parameter temperature. And if you set the temperature to zero, it's basically giving you the same result every time. It's just going to come up with the most likely response. And this tends to be also the most boring response. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the temperature introduces a little bit of noise in the higher levels of the prediction. So it gives you the less obvious things. If you set the temperature very high, then you often get uh, very loopy results or gibberish. And uh, so when you generate outputs, people try to find a temperature that is suitable for the task, which means if you try to, say, translate programming code from one programming language into another one, uh, then you're going to set the temperature extremely low mm -hmm. and back to zero. And if you want to create uh, an interesting uh, page in a novel, then uh, say you want to have some kind of thriller novel or uh, some romantic novel and so on, you're going to set the temperature to some medium level where it's not going to go off the rails that easily, but it's going to be interesting to read. And there is not that much uh, cherry picking that you need to do, which means it's more... Uh, GPT-3 is able to come up with interesting stuff most of the time. Mm. It's just not going to the best stuff. And since uh, you get uh, sometimes a better version just by hitting repeat, you just roll the dice a few times until you think, oh my God, this is really good. I would have never come up with this hmm. or only in a long amount of time. Hmm. And um, so just for a tool for idea generation, it's uh, quite powerful. And there are some people which use it for creative writing and find that it increases their productivity, not by a factor of 10, but by a factor of two to three. <laughs> Which wow. means you do have to edit. Um, uh, one person that I follow on Twitter, Liminal Worms, who uh, used it to write romance novels with it, describes it's like flat fill on a page. And sometimes it's going to introduce uh, a few pixels that you don't want to have. So you excise them and replace them by something else. And it's going to continue from the prompt that you gave it. It's also able to do pretty decent business writing. Like you can, for instance, instead of an email, you just give it a few bullet points and it writes you the email around these. Hmm. And, but you have to read carefully what it does because everything it, that it doesn't know or where, you, uh, where it doesn't have the most likely completion uh, at ready, it's going to confabulate. Mm -hmm. So you always have to make sure that you know what you're doing. Uh, also, when you write pr uh, complex programming code with it, it can yes. maybe that introduce uh, uh, more help. Uh, it can help you with writing algorithms, especially boilerplate. It can generate regular expressions, uh, which can be a pain in the neck if you do this by hand or uh, SQL queries and so on, but you still need to know what your tables are called in, in your actual database and whether yes. this makes sense. <laughs> Indeed. 